Hi, I'm Amy Whalen with Amy's Inklings. Thank you for joining me today. Today I wanted to show you how to create this beautiful background image using our brayer. So come join me. Okay, I'm starting with a piece of Whisper White and um, what I'm going to do is use these three ink colors but I'm going to start with the lightest so I'll put these two aside this is so saffron it's a very light yellow so I'm going to ink the entire brayer with the so saffron now you'll notice when I'm inking my brayer I'm not going back and forth I'm rolling in one direction and picking it up and that way you can be sure you're getting ink on the entire circumference of the brayer. Alright, so I started with So Saffron. Let me get the new lovely delightful Dijon and this time I'm going to ink it right on top of the So Saffron because So Saffron is um, a lighter color this is okay. Okay, and you notice I only rolled the bottom and if you can see how I Okay, if I had kept my brayer completely straight, I would have created a straight line. But after rolling it, I kind of moved it a little bit because I wanted to get that variation of color. And that will make sense in a minute. So we'll put Delightful Dijon away and take out our Marina Mist. And this time, of course, I'm going to roll just that side. And again, I'm going to roll it and kind of, again, give it that little off register look. All right. And then we just simply roll it. You're going to start it off the cardstock and just start rolling back and forth. Ooh, I love that. Okay, now see how see how this color juts into the lighter? That was because I kind of I didn't roll it in a straight line. And I think that's what adds this lovely gradation of color if that's the right word. Now if you think that's too light we can ink it again and go in the opposite direction. Okay, So let me take some of this excess ink off because I am going to go back into my light so saffron ink pad. So let's go again in one direction covering the entire brayer. Then with Delightful Dijon a little bit at the bottom and then again with the marina mist. Okay. And this time when I do it, I'm going to start from this side and go that way. You ready? Go. Ah, love it. Oh, I love that. I love that almost patchwork of color. Ah, so pretty. All right. So what I did was after I let that ink dry, I then came back and using the beautiful Remarkable You stamp set, this one here, I stamped the flowers with Memento Black. Then I went back, stamped it again with Versamark so that I could then emboss it with the Iridescent Ice embossing powder. And I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it is what I call off register. I did not stamp it directly on top of the black again. It's a little off and I like that. That was the look I was going for. Isn't that stunning? I love it. So listen, give it a try. And when you do, please join me back at Amy's Inklings and share your project with all of us. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.